Hi, my dear Yuri friends. Today we are going to have a very gentle and sweet flow to stretch our hamstrings and also open up our groins. And I hope you like it. I'll see you on the mat. Today slow, lying down our back and knees bent. Now gently bring the right knee closer to the chest, extend the left leg out in front of us and push gently, press in the right knee into our chest. Just give it a very gentle pressure. You can keep your eyes closed. Switch the breath and switch the leg. Left leg in, gentle pressure on the knee, on the shin to press it into the chest. Switch breath and bring the right knee in again. And now let's bring our hand from the inside of our right knee and to hold outside of the right foot. We'll come into a Half happy baby pose of the right side. Keep the left sit bones grounded on the floor and just press the right knee into the direction of our armpit. And opening of your left groin, the hip. Now, gently from here, if you can. If you, your flexibility allows, keep your hand where it is and extend your right leg out, stretch out to the sky. If not, just to hold with your hands behind your right leg, gently massaging the back of our leg. Give it a bit of love and care. And open the right leg to the side, open the hips, keep the left hips grounded to the floor. Keep the breath flowing and welcome into a twist. Bring the right leg all the way across our body and place it to the left side. Make sure your chest still open up towards the sky and your right shoulder grounded to the floor. Your right arms, your right arm extended to the right side, gaze to the right. We'll come into this gentle twist. Squeeze the negativity out of you. Feel the sensations flow in your body. Let the breath guide your feelings. And now we'll gently come back into center and bring the right knee into the chest one more time and we'll switch the leg. We'll bring the left knee in, press it into the chest and place the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Have heavy baby pose on the left side. Open up the right leg, right groin muscles and Extend it out. Gently straighten the left leg if you can. Otherwise, just place the hands behind the shin, the calf, the, um, the knee, and just give it some love. And gentle kick your heel, left heel, into the sky so that you bring the uh, more intense sensations into the hamstring. And exhale, open it to the side, open the hip, open the left hip to the side. Make sure you keep your right side still firmly on the ground. Don't flip your body. And now we exhale, bring the left leg all the way to the right, coming to a gentle twist. 
gaze towards the left side. Brings out any negativities in your body, in your stomach, in your, in your hips. And now we'll come back to center. Bring both knees into the chest. <laughs> Bring your forehead into the chest, into uh, the knees. And now we'll roll up, back and forth, back and forth to come into a squatting. Use the momentum to come into a squat. If not, you'll just come into a sitting and then we'll come into a kneeling position a little bit back of our mat, in the back of our mat. Now we'll come to kneel on our shins and place our hips square. Make sure your spine is neutral. So don't hyper, uh, hyper extend or hyper contract your spine, your lower back. Stick your belly in and square your hips. Your, try to place the weight onto your both shin bones and on top of your feet or we'll stay here. Take an inhale here, exhale slowly, push, 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 push your hips frontwards and bring your chest up to the sky like somebody is lifting your chest towards upwards and somebody pushing you front, pushing the hip front. So a lot of the senses going on here and if you can, um, place the hand on the lower back just for a little bit of support and protection and come into a back bend. Gently lift yourself up and take a big, big, big inhale and exhale to reset. Now from here, bring the right knee forward and place the right foot down in front of you. So we kind of like a low lunge pose. And keep your hips square here and just to feel the weight on the half weight on our left knee, left shin, and another half weight on our right foot. Focus here, feel the body, Inhale, lift the arms up and bring your hips a little bit forward. Extend your left groin. You can feel the stretch here. If your flexibility allows, you can bring your hip even lower to the ground. And here, from here, bend your arms and bring the hands in prayer behind your head. We'll do some tricep stretch here. And if you can or you know if you're just trying to bring up the sensations place the pad back press back towards the hand and you can feel the more stretch on your triceps just to push back with your head stay here and now lift your hip up into a neutral position we'll lower our arms and bend our left, uh, bring our left foot back into closer to the roots. And if you can, grab your left foot with your hands and open the chest up. Externally, roll back your shoulders and open up your collarbone. Feel the stretch. And from here, you can also bring the hips a little bit closer to the floor bit more intense stretch on the left side, left quadriceps, quadriceps and left groin. And release the hand, release the foot. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, 
Bring, kick the hip back, 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 back. Extend the right leg straight. Hands on the floor will come into a half split. So try to scissor the legs. So bring the left growing a bit front and push the right glute back. So you feel more stretch on the right hamstring. Flex the foot, pointing the toes towards your face. And from here, we will just move front, bend the right knee, open the chest up, inhale, and push back the hips, extend the right hamstring, exhale here, we'll just come back and forth. Gently do it at your own pace. And we'll stay in this half split pose for three rounds of breath. Mm. You know, you really just have to concentrate your focus on the um, hamstrings so that you feel even um, more because you are connected, your mind and your muscles are connected. So we'll come back into a lunge and lift your body up, hands around the lower back, around the hips, and bring the right foot back. Reset, adjust your positions. Now we bring the left foot out in front of us. Oh, if you lose your balance, it's okay. So we'll come into a lunge pose eventually and your spine is neutral and your hips are square. And from here, lift your arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring the hips down towards the floor. Extend the right groin muscle and bring the hands together in prayer. Put them behind your head and push the head back against the arms. Feel the tricep stretch as well. And from here, let's re-square our hips, lift our body, uh, lift our hips back into a neutral spine position and release the hands and bring the right foot closer to the glutes and try to hold it with both hands. If, it, if you cannot, if you feel it's hard to balance, it's also fine, you, you can, um, you can support yourself with some blocks on the side and put your hands on the blocks and bend the right knee. But if you can, this is really good uh, stretch on the right quadriceps. Release the right foot. We'll come back. And now we'll lift our arms up one more time and push the hip back, 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 extend the left leg and we'll come into a stretch into the left hamstring. Bring the, uh, imagine you're trying to push back with your left glute and bring your right leg forward. So it's like a scissor so that you can feel more, um, feel more this sensations in the left hamstrings very, strong and point the toes towards your face to bring more senses, more sensations into the stretch. And now we'll come back and forth a few times. Inhale here, so bring the back. More stay. Three rounds of breaths. Mm. 
Now come back into a low lunge. Square your hips, lift up your body and bring the right foot back into a kneeling. Now we'll gently sit down and bring our uh, legs on either side and sit your glute down in the mat. Bring the legs out in front of you. We'll come into a staff pose. From here, inhale, bring the um, right knee towards yourself and place the right foot outside of your right, uh, left knee. And sit your spine tall here, open the chest up, inhale, exhale. Inhale, also lift your left arm up, exhale, twist, twist, twist to the right and place the left elbow outside of your right knee and bring the right hand behind you for support. We'll come into this twist here. Take a big inhale, exhale, counter twist to the left, both hands um, fingertips land on the floor and bend your whole head down to the ground. But make sure your right sit bone still on the mat. Lift yourself up and we'll place, um, place the right knee on top of your left just to um, Bring the right foot a bit farther away from the mat and place the right knee on top of your left knee. We'll come into this half cow pose. And from here, you can either stay here up and tall and just feel this gentle stretch on the right outer hip. Or if you want, you can go down, down, down. Make sure your left sit bone is grounded in the floor in the same position. Your left heel is also grounded in the floor in the same position, except that you can imagine that somebody is pulling your left heel out so that you extend your left hamstring. At this point, you should feel more ease with this hamstring uh, stretch than the beginning of this flow. Your legs and your hamstrings are more relaxed here, more extended, more stretched, more oxygenated. And lift your body up. We'll change sides. Now we extend our right leg up in front of us, bend the left and place the left foot outside of your right knee. Inhale, lift your body up, your uh, right arm up. Exhale, twist to the left. Place the right hand, right arm, uh, right elbow outside of your left knee. Twist to the left, left hand behind you for support. You can also place your right hand on top of your glute. Counter twist to the right. Bend our forehead to the ground. Come back to center. Place the left knee on top of your right knee. Half cow face here. Sit tall, either sitting tall and just feel this gentle stretch or you go down a little bit. Bend forward, pointing the toes towards your face again. Feel the stretch. Gently lift yourself up, up, up. Left to center. And now place your, just shift your body a little bit closer to the top of our mat and place both feet mat wise 
and place the sole of the feet down onto the mat, hands behind of us for gentle support, and chest open. And from here, we'll just wind mill, wind mill the um, wind wiper shield the legs side to side. Try to place the knee down to the floor when you go down to each side. Release the tension in our lower back. And come back to center. You'll realize your body a little bit shifting front as well. And push yourself into a yogi squat. Yogi squat, feel the stretch, the strengthening of your spine and the lift from the crown of your head and reach from the sit bones to the floor. <sighs> Push the knees open with the elbows. You can also sway a little bit left to right. Feel the sensations going on in your glutes, in your hips. And now from here, we'll take a big inhale in the squatting position and exhale. Lift your hips up, pointing to the sky into a forward fold. And we'll just do it like this a few times. When you inhale, you squat down, bring the hips down. Exhale, bring the hips up into forward fold. One last time, inhale, squat down. Exhale, lift your hips up. We'll stay in this forward fold. You can hold both elbows for breath of pose. Hang your head. Let the gravity pull your head and your upper body down to the ground. Do a stretch on your both hamstrings. Your hips are lifted towards the sky. Your heels are grounded, pointing down towards the earth. Both energy flows in your body from those directions. And now from here, gently place the hands down to the mat and Bring the left foot all the way back and place the left knee down. We we'll come into a kind of like lizard pose, lizard pose. And then twist your body towards the right side, chest towards the right, and gently place your right hand on the right knee. Can also push the right knee open to the right and lift your right arm up to reach towards the sky, reach, 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 like somebody's pulling your hand. And from this this pulling motion, this imaginary pulling motion, like pull, 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 and like somebody's pulling your right hand all the way back back, 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 until it's almost reaching the side of your left, left leg and lift your, uh, lift your left hand up. You can also option here to place the left hand behind your head for support so that you can point in your left elbow towards the sky and open up the chest towards the sky. Feel the stretch on the entire left side of the um, body and the groin, and even quadricep. And from here, gently twist your body to 
um, face forward, your chest face forward, your elbow still pointing towards the sky, and try to reach your right hand to the right side floor. Side stretch on the left, and from here you can extend your left hand up to the sky again to the to feel the entire from the left fingertip to your left toes the entire side body stretch and inhale here so all bring your hands all the way down into the inside of your right leg again and come back into this lizard pose release any tensions from your lower back from your hips Sway side to side, relax. Now, we'll tap the left toe and lift the left knee up. Inhale here, exhale, extend the right leg. We'll come into kind of like a pyramid pose, but both hands still inside the right foot. And we'll do like before, back and forth, inhale, bend the right knee, exhale, extend. A few more times at your own pace. And stay here in this extended pyramid pose. And then slowly move yourself into the center of your mat and come into a wide leg forward fold. Bring your hands in the middle of the mat, right below your gaze, and toes in, heels out. We'll, come, we'll stay in this wide leg forward fold for a while. A few, a few moments, a few breaths. Feel the difference of both legs, the different sensations of your lower body. Mm. Now, gently come to the back of our mat and pointing the left toes. Pivot the right toes to pointing them all the way towards the back of our mat. And then we all reverse the flow in this side. So we'll just come into a lunge and exhale, extended pyramid pose. Lunge, bend the right, uh, the left knee, and extend, exhale. A few more times until you find a sweet spot to stay in the pyramid. And then gently come into a lizard pose with the right knee on the floor. Gently open yourself towards the left side. Open the chest to the left side. Gently pressure, press the left knee open. Reach the left fingertips all the way towards the sky. Reach, 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 reach. And somebody's pulling you all, all the way back. And with this pulling, you also lift your right hand up, right arms up, until you come into a side stretch. Place the right hand behind your head, if you wish, and pointing the elbows towards the sky. Feel this stronger sensations of the stretch by just this little twist. Open, 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 and pivot your chest, like swing, um, no, like turn your chest towards the front, 
still keep pointing your elbow towards the sky and try to reach the left side of your mat, the floor with your left fingertips and open up. Reach your right hand all the way to the left side, side stretch on your right side. And swing your arms all the way inside of the right foot. Place them down. Take a big inhale. Exhale, tap the back toes and bring the right foot to meet. Bring the left foot to meet the right. Come into a downward facing dog. <sighs> this is our first downward facing dog. Also our last downward facing dog. Even this our first downward facing dog, but our lower bodies are pretty much open up and the hamstrings are pretty much stretched out, flex, and they are flexible, they are elastic. You can gently place the knees down. We'll, we'll swing the legs in front of us. Again, coming into a star pose. Just give yourself a little gentle massage or touch. Touch your legs. How do they feel now? After all the oxygens and stretch, you gave it to them. They are thank you. All right, so we'll just do one last forward fold. Sit your body a little bit taller. Inhale, exhale, gently bend forward. <sighs> Stay wherever you feel that is the limit. Or just totally bring your forehead down to meet the knees. Gently lift yourself up. Now, if you have a couch cushion or pillow or whatever soft, you know, like a pillow or blanket, fold them up and bring a pillow underneath your knees. Like this. And hold the hands. Wrap the arms, wrap the hands around your shin bone, around your spine, chin to the chest. Just for a moment to bring everything internally. All your senses internally to feel your own body. And gently round your spine and bring yourself all the way into a lay down position back into the beginning of our flow you can extend your legs and just rest your knees on top of the pillow or bring the soles of your feet together open the knees out but they are still resting on the pillow one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Feel your own breath. The waves of your belly, your chest. This is the sign of life of yourself. You inhale out through the mouth.
some of you wish to stay in this pose and have a longer rest, feel free to do so. Pause the video and continue your resting pose. Otherwise, we will find a way, gently find a way <laughs> to get yourself up into sitting position. to the center of our mat. Wiggle, wiggle your lower body, and wiggle your lower back, your upper body. Mm. I hope you enjoy this flow, and um, I hope your legs are very well stretched and relaxed. Thank you for making this time to enjoy this flow with me on the mat and to do this to yourself, to your own body. And I hope to see you in the next flow. Namaste. Bye bye.